Hi, you can heal family. Bringing you a video today based on what I heard in church today from my pastor preaching. So I'll link the actual um, sermon in the description, but just want to kind of highlight what I heard as the pastor was teaching and and really to motivate and encourage myself and hopefully to encourage you to really want to live live this Christian life out to the fullest. So he started off in 1 John 4, 4, talking about greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. So that's the actual scripture. So right there, for me, just said it all. Like, and we always say on, on my videos, right, when we end that, you know, God lives on the inside of you. And he does. And, and the one who lives on the inside of us is greater than anyone else, anything else. So what does that speak to me? It just says, like, there's nothing that cannot be accomplished through my life because the greater one lives on the inside of me. And he was going on to say in, in 1 Timothy 3.16, the scriptures, I have to manifest his life, nature, and very being. The actual scripture was God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received up into glory. So all that stuff happened so that we could be here on the earth as his hands and feet moving about and accomplishing his will. If you want to do that. Right? It's kind of like, what kind of Christian do I want to be? What kind of Christian do you want to be? Do we really want to carry out the commission, which is, a, which is to go into all the world and spread the word? And I think about, you know, I haven't really made a video in a while just talking to you and sharing because I've been just under the instruction and um, conviction of the Holy Spirit, not condemned, but the Lord's teaching me and growing me up in, in areas. And there's just little things that in my life, I know I have to get right and my heart has to be right. You know, my 10 year old daughter just called me out <laughs> a little bit ago and, and, and said, mom, are you jealous of that person? And I really had to, you know, hear from her because see, God will use anybody to check your spirit and your heart. And, and that's what happened. So when I said a little bit ago, we have to manifest his life, nature, and being. In other words, if we're saying Christ lives in us, we have to walk that out and be like him. The word says be perfect as he's perfect. So we've got to really make a decision. You know, who who are we going to serve? You know, is it as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord? Are we really going to live for Christ? and do what he would do in situations to be guided by the spirit to to want to do his will be in obedience to his word not be stubborn and disobedient but to obey and walk walk with the lord john 1 14 he also referenced said the word was made flesh right and the word dwelt among us so god had to say okay i gotta bring Jesus clothed as a God man to the earth to help, <laughs> to help Sheena, right? To help you figure out how to, how to walk through life. So God sent his son, Jesus, the God man as our example to follow, but Jesus couldn't stay here. Like Jesus is not walking on the earth today, but he's, he left us his Holy spirit. His comfort. He says, I have to ascend, but I'm going to send you the greater one like the holy spirit to guide you through this life and to help us so what if that's true if i've got the holy spirit if you've got the holy spirit living on the inside of you why are we still in sin why are we still judging people you know we, we can look at fruit but why why do we have jealous spirits why are we you know still you know oversleeping when we're supposed to be somewhere on time right and, and that's something I'm working on, getting to places on time. You know, why Why are we still trying to blame everything on the devil? No, not anymore. You know, we have the Holy Spirit inside of us. And I'm going to talk about this on the class on this month, or, or for March, rather. Our March class is talking about 
childhood programming and how as we grow up and become adults and even grow and mature in Christ, there's some things we can't blame on our past anymore. We've got to say, I'm this age or I'm this mature in the Lord now that I've got to start taking responsibility for my life going forward, like leaving the past behind. Remember the, the scripture, and I think you used it today, is old things are all passed away now. Everything is new. You and I are new creatures in Christ. We don't have to be under the law of sin and death. That's why grace abounds, right? So let's move into that. He was talking about grace is using his power on my behalf. So God's grace is allowing me to walk through this earth with power and authority. The scripture was Galatians 1, 13, 7. So my notes say, God wants to manifest himself in and through my life today. So he wants to manifest himself like himself. The God man, Jesus lives inside of me and he wants to use my body to, to go about this on this earth to get the word out. I've heard the call. I got to share the truth in love and I've got to let you know today's the day to repent. Listen, stop living in your old nature. If you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and he lives in you, then we have got to obey the Holy Spirit. We've got to obey the Holy Spirit. We've got to walk in his truth. We've got to do what we're called to do. Um, it says here, verse 16, and called me by his grace. This is in Galatians 1, verse 16, and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach. Okay, we might not have a pulpit in a church, but we have a mouth and we can go and share this good news with the power of the Holy Ghost that lives on the inside of us. We can share the word. You might be feeling down and out. You might have had a hard day. You might not have gone to church in a really long time. You might not even be saved. And if you're not, it's a simple prayer. God, come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior and save me from my sin. And you're saved, right? You're in the family in Jesus' holy name. Amen. It's that simple. And when we do that, we're indwelt with the Spirit. But we've got to take what we hear, what you're hearing today, and walk it out. And be fully committed to the headship of Jesus Christ. The end of the message says, said today, you know, we have to repent. We have to um, come to the end of ourselves. Like the end, this is a sign for the end, like finish. We got to come to the end of ourselves and start a new life moving forward, surrendered to the Holy Spirit, surrendered to the teaching of the word and wanting to live for God alone and no one else and stop being stubborn and disobedient and, you know, in sin. And a lot of times we don't want to call it what it is. Like your behavior and mine is a sin because this old man, that sinful nature always wants to rise up. The pastor said in the beginning of the message, um, let the God in me dominate my actions. How, how do we do that? How do we let the God in us, the Jesus in me dominate my actions by coming to the end of ourselves? When you come to the end of yourself, then God can start working in your life. But you've got to want to get out of the way. You've got to want to be like, hey, I'm tired. Nothing's worked out. I've been saved all these years and my life is still a mess. Well, it's because you're in sin. And I'm in sin, right? We've, we're, we're still trying to hold on to that old nature and we've got to let it go. We've got to realize we're washed in the blood of the lamb and we don't have to hold on the word of his testimony, the word of God, all these notes. I, I can't even read them all. All these notes today, like we got to, I can't just have them here. I got to listen, hear the call and walk it out in my own life and stop. And I got to stop being afraid of coming on this old camera. It's just a camera. And it's going to, whoever watches, it's going to watch. And if they don't like the video, they can click off the video. But if I feel like, or if you feel like you've got a message to get out, 
we got to get it out. There's a song I, I shared on a video over a year ago. I think it's called Gratitude by Brandon Lake. Is that his name? And it, and it talks about in the, the chorus, just like, let the lion in me come out. I can't remember the exact verse, but, you know, let's just stop being afraid. Like, this is a sign for fear. Like, stop being afraid. Like, just open our mouth and say what God's put in you to say and, and do do our part, like do my part. So I'm really talking to myself here. But the grace is God's allowing us to use his power on his behalf. So I don't have to come on a video afraid. I don't have to go through life. You know, you might want a new job you need to go after or a new position or you might have to confront a family member on something. Well, just go in that power that of, that Christ lives on the inside of you and he's going to teach you and instruct you and um, allow your words to be seasoned with salt, right? So you know how to answer every man. I think that's a scripture in Colossians. Is it 323? Someone can check that for me. But yeah, we, we've got a, let me read this. In that scripture, Galatians, Galatians 1, 13, 17, it talked about God wants to manifest himself in and through my ideas. Okay. For it says, for you have heard, but when it pleased God, this is verse 15 of Galatians 1. This is really good. I started. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb. And then the scripture goes on. I did not write the whole thing because I got caught up in listening to him. But basically, Paul, the apostle, was going around like tormenting Jewish people, right? He was the worst of the worst, but, but God. But when it pleased God, who decided to separate him from his mother's womb, it's, it was like Paul heard the call and he stopped, you know, doing things contrary to God's will. And he, he didn't look back. He just went forward on that road to Damascus. You know, he just went forward and he, he's a, one of the greatest teachers of all time in the Bible. Galatians 1 13 let me find let me open my bible and read this you guys let me let me get the, the whole scripture out because it's really good let me find galatians so bear with me a second i said galatians 1 so it was verses 13 through 17 so um Oh, I'm on the wrong one okay galatians 1 it says for you have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jewish religion, how that beyond measure, I persecuted the church of God and wasted it. So this is Paul here and profited in the Jews religion above many, my equals in my own nation, being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my father. So basically he was persecuting Christians and everybody, right? He was just the worst. But verse 15, when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace. And remember we said grace. What is that grace? It's to use his power on my behalf. That the grace of God, it's only God. It's only God who can want you to do better, right? It's only by the grace of God that you turn your life around and you stop the sin. And you move forward. And we really live for him. He called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the heathen. Immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. So he had to put aside the flesh. He had to make a decision. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles before me, but I went into Arabia and returned again unto Damascus. So he, he went out and he said, no more. I'm, I, I'm shaking off the old nature. I'm called by his grace to reveal in me the son that I might preach. So my note said it called me, called for a purpose to reveal his son in us, to teach, preach, and repent. Okay, so those are notes I wrote. That's not in the scripture. But what the Lord was showing me in my, mo my notes, I wrote, I was called for a purpose. You're here for a purpose. What is that? 
For me, I wrote down to reveal the sun, to tell people to repent. And I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting a little louder here because I think about my life and I started this channel because I was so broken, right? And trying to come out of that life and, and wanting to be healed and, and spending so many years and still working on myself and healing from the abuse that happened to me in my past. But it, it didn't just happen just because it happened. Like by God's grace, I have the opportunity, born of my mother, for this for such a time as this to let people know, yeah, you've hurt, you've had things happen, but you don't have to stay there. We can heal and we can repent from things that we do, get this, things that we've done based on what other people have done to us. So it kind of like you feel like you have the right to be promiscuous or you have the right to lie or steal or hurt someone else because you've been so hurt. And no, 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 we do not. Because the grace of God saved us, saved you. So now we turn our life around. We change, we turn from the old person. I'm not the abused person, right? I'm not that victim person. I have newness of life and we can preach the word and treat people the way we want to be treated. That's the old golden rule. And I wrote that in my notes, in my notes here. And what does this last thing say? That's why things are growing. I support to preach Jesus the others to repent. Yeah, the last thing I wrote here is come to the end of myself. Then God can trust us to take the word to others. So that's real good. When we decide to finally come to the end of ourselves, hear the call or hear what Holy Spirit is saying and live for him and come up out of that sin. And Lisa Smiles always says that debauchery, Tony Gaskin's word. Let me, let me throw it in there. Like, stop. Just decide to repent. The time has come for you to walk in newness of life and wholeness and really live out who God is. The one who lives on the inside of us. And when we do that, when we surrender and finally say, Lord, not my will, but thy will be done. I want to do things your way. I've done things my way for so long. It doesn't work. And when we do that, then God can trust us to take that word out. So I prayed before I made this video, you know, that I, I please God by doing it. And that you heard something that's going to help you move forward in your life. Because me just being on here talking to hear myself talk is, is does not profit anybody. His phone's about to die. It doesn't, um, does no one any good. So if you take away anything, turn from sin, repent you know, face the other way and go in the other direction and leave your old self behind. Things have happened. It's done. And if, if you're finding it hard to let go of some things, book a call with me, right? I can give you some tools, some skills to help you move forward and work through some of that pain in your past because I don't want to dismiss it like it didn't happen. But there's just so much life left to live and and to partner up with Jesus Christ and to really know what it means to say he lives on the inside of you, it's beautiful. It can be beautiful. So let's let's just go forward one day at a time, right? Accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking the sinful world as Jesus did. And that whole serenity prayer, right? Let's just trust God. Let's turn from our wicked ways and really live as a believer would. Someone who loves Jesus Christ and wants to serve him and go out into the world and share the good news or share your gifts, your talents, whatever it is that he's called you to do. Let's do it with the power, right? Use the power, that grace, that power that he's given us, right? To use his power on, on your behalf, to, to have the power of God living on the inside of you and that's what you can lead with not yourself <laughs> right when I think about that I don't want to make a video but I have to go in the name of Jesus and get on here and talk to you right and and share a word so remember that Galatians chapter 1 verse 15 but when it pleased God who separated me so God separated you from your mother and called you into grace he called you into the earth at this time for a reason you're not here for nothing everybody's here to to bring glory and honor to God and to serve him and get 
get his word out in your unique way because no one can can do it like you whatever that is if it's preaching the word if you know you're a good customer service person you're you know you're a good athlete whatever it is you you do do it for the glory of god and to bring people to christ because that's uh, that's all that really matters so my name is sheena i'm glad you listened today always remember true healing begins with self-love why because god is love and he lives on the inside of you bye for now